Oklahoma City and Carmelo have mutual interest. Basketball-wise, I think this is actually a very good fit. But it kind of runs contrary to everything we've ever heard about Melo's <laughs> preferences lifestyle-wise. Yeah, I know Lala and him are on the rocks, but I don't know what she would have to say about OKC, one of the smallest markets, obviously, in the NBA. Maybe it's a lot more enticing because Paul George is there. But we know that he's likely only there for a year. I mean, he told our own Lee Jenkins that they basically the bar is set at Western Conference Finals or beating the Warriors. I mean, hat tip to you if you feel like you have the team. Here we, if you have Melo though, and you also have uh, Paul George and you have Russell Westbrook. I mean, that's a hell of a team, Hample. Well, there's two problems here. One is just assets. What are the Knicks getting back in this? Is it enough to just get Enos Cantor and maybe a very late first round pick? Because that's basically what it would have to be. They're going to have to take back some salary to match Melo. Cantor has a big contract and he has several years left on his contract. Is he a good enough player that the Knicks would feel comfortable with that? Can you play him with Porzingis? Is it worth picking up the 25th or 26th pick in the first round to take on Con Cantor's contract? I don't know about that. So I'm not sure how the deal works in that sense. And then the other thing is the fit on the court. Yeah. Mello to the Thunder would mean that either he or Paul George basically has to f play the four full time. And both of them have been tried out at the four and they both hated it. Neither of them want to do it. And one of them would have to start at the four. But so. that's where Mello plays his best. I mean, that, when they won 54 games, that's where Carmelo Anthony was playing. So some of these guys, they need a coach. You know, we talk about managing egos yeah. who says, hey, this is where you're going to be. Deal with it. Okay, well, that would be Billy Donovan in this case. But I, I just wonder, you know, Paul George didn't choose to play with Russell Westbrook. You know, he's putting on a very brave face about this and saying it's going to be great, saying he's going to give Oklahoma City a real chance. He's going to give them a real look. But that would mean... I guess Melo would be choosing Oklahoma City, but I haven't seen one superstar who's chosen to play with Russell Westbrook. And I don't know if Carmelo Anthony, who likes to take a lot of his shots as well, I, I don't know if he, he looks at Russ and says, this is ideal. Yeah, he's not like Paul George, where he plays off the ball quite as naturally. You know, he, he wants that play at the end of the game where it's Melo holds jab step, jab step, jab step, 18-footer. Right. But when you reference, we referenced the Olympics earlier, Euro Melo, whatever you want to call him. Sure. He was always great in those situations when he's playing that stretch four and he, he's catching and shoot That's true. catch and drive so maybe just maybe he's gotten to the point in his career where he sees his career mortality and he's ready to make that shift